Hello again. So, yesterday I unpacked my um, <clears throat> Gossamer Blue kit, and I realized um, I had the add on kit, and I realized that that was, it was a special they were running when you subscribed. You got a free add on kit, so each month I won't be getting that, but it was kind of fun to get this time. So, I'm going to create um, first layout using my kit, and I'm using this sketch by Bev Code, and um, I'm on two design teams with her, but this is for the latest SWAT <laughs> drill over at uh, Scrapbook Warriors Advanced Training, and I'll link it up <clears throat> in my blog post. So this is the sketch we're gonna be using, and it, it calls for one photo, but I think I'm gonna use these two photos. And these were taken at Playland um, in the summertime. And, um, yeah, I went on the wooden roller coaster with my daughters. These are my daughters here, and there's me, and I'm looking all happy because i forgotten exactly how totally terrifying that ride is and actually quite painful as it flings you up and down in your seat. So let's just say I won't be riding on any wooden roller coasters anytime soon. So these are the papers that I've chosen. I really love this pink ombre sort of chevron-y kind of look. And the sort of navy, tones of navy um, wood grain from my mind's eye. And then I've got one of the um, pieces of cardstock that they included. And then this cut apart sheet by um, Cardabella. And I think I might use at least one of these. Um, I don't know, that's kind of fun. Remember, remember that one time, or you said, I said, things we do together, let me tell you, <laughs> could launch into a little story about the roller coaster. Anyways, um, and then of course I've got all my other little goodies, stickers and letters and my goodie packs, so I'll be going through that. All right, so let's get started. And I'm gonna use this as my background. And this is Bev's sketch. I think I'm going to start by adding some mist. Now I know I talked about mist in a previous um, video and I'm going to use some splattering. Because she's got this detail up there I think I might splatter in this direction. Normally I do it in this, this direction but I'll do it the other way. This is called Warm Calico by Studio Calico. And it's um it's a it's a gray, it's sort of a charcoaly gray, like you see. It's probably good enough. So there you can see it. Warm calico, Mr. Huey. I'll just give that a moment to dry while I cut my other papers. So I'm going to have my photos on this one. I might overlap them a little bit like that. Maybe like that. Please remain seated at all times. <laughs> that could be fun. So I just kind of want to cut a box, um, roughly resemble the box um, around the photo. So these, I've trimmed these, they, I printed them off of 4 by 6 but I've trimmed them down to 5 by 4 So that would give me 10 inches across, but I think I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. Yeah. Alright, let's just cut it. You just got to sort of cut them sometimes. So I'm going to cut it at about six inches. And I'm totally okay if my photos go over, you know, that's fine with me. I'm, I'm okay with that. But if you need to completely measure yours to make sure that, you know, they're exactly where you want them to be, then you, by all means, you go right ahead and do that. That fits kind of perfectly. And I want to have a little bit of this showing. Where do I want it? I don't think 
I want the whole thing. I think I just kind of want it to be just a little bit. Maybe I can use a, some of the um, some of the sort of long banners going across. Maybe that's what I'll that's what I'll do. Cut some strips out of it. I hope I'm staying on camera and not doing super secret things off camera. The other side, I don't think the other side will work. But. And you know, I'm going to leave them at 12 inches for now until I see how that looks. And I'm going to cut two. I haven't notched them at the end yet. We can do that later. Okay, so this is kind of where we're at right now. I think I might alternate these. And then the arrows so almost represent the roller coaster, you know, going up and down. That kind of fun. And I'm just going to chop into this now, too. I think I'm going to use this one. Let me tell you, because let me tell you, I was unhappy when I got off that roller coaster. My girls were loving it, but I was very unhappy. We can find where did my embellishment stickers go. I've got some arrows that could be good too. Let's do this, that could work. <laughs> Let's not do this again ever. Before I go any further, I thought I would show you how I notch, um, how I make the notches in my papers. Now I learned this from uh, Jennifer Gallagher, and she takes her strips. And I'll do it one at a time. She takes her strips and then she just folds it, lines it up at the bottom. You take your scissors and you just make the central cut. And then you go from each corner to that central bit. I really hope I'm on camera here. And just creates the notch. Okay, and then you've got perfectly notched ends. One of the extra challenges for this sketch, sketch with a twist, I guess you could say, is um, to use some twine. And I thought um, I could use this stencil that came from this Dear Lizzie pack that was in my kit. And I could use it, I should say I could use it as a stencil and I'm gonna draw some of the arrows and then I'm gonna stitch some of them with twine. Um, I won't do that on camera because that'll be long and boring, um, but I will show you how I can stitch them. Now I'm just using, these are Stampin' Up! markers. It's just easy for me to do that. Uh, it's just a basic black one. And I'm not gonna um, trace each one. I'm definitely not gonna stitch each one. My marker's not. Writing. All right, let's get a different color. Knight of Navy. All right. That's better. If I had thought about this in advance, I probably would have turned this over so that I wouldn't be marking up the, sort of the good side. I guess I've just committed to using this as a stencil from now on. A lot of this is going to be covered by my photos, so that's why I'm not worrying about 
all of them. Just want to kind of get the general idea of the arrows. And yes, I am doing a fairly messy job of this. It's just the way I roll sometimes. Okay, I'm just going to get an idea of how this looks with my photos. Yeah, I kind of like that. The mist works well with that too. So now I'm just going to grab my mat and I'll pierce some holes. Here's a few holes, and then I will add twine. And what I'm trying to sort of replicate a little bit is the circular element that's in the sketch. Now clearly this is not circular, and I know that, but I just want a little bit of detail up there in that corner. Now I've got to find some twine. I have this, this is one of my storage methods, quality street chocolate box. Once you eat all the chocolates out of it, you can store your twine in there. And I think, I think I'm going to go for gray. I've been using gray inks on the edges of my papers, so I think I'm going to go for gray. We'll get a needle. Sometimes I uh, break it down so I'm not using um, the whole thing, but I think this time I will keep it nice and thick. And I will show you the trick I use to keep things secure on the back. So I'm just going to put the first hole. And. I just grab a bit of washi tape, doesn't matter what it is, so you just, you're not going to see it, and then I just stick it. I don't have to tie any knots, don't have to worry about it coming through the paper, it's all good. And we're just going to use a simple back stitch if I can figure out the holes here. the hole that I was looking for. The pattern of dots on the back is a little confusing. And in the middle. And that's where we started. Okay, so that gives you an idea of how I'm going to be doing it and I'll do the rest of it off camera. Okay, I've been kind of playing around a little bit and um, I know it wasn't in the kit but I was thinking a lot about um, Chamel's, Chamel Lane's stamp set from Two Bees in a Bucket. Uh, last time I checked it was out of stock. I don't know um, if, they're, if they've restocked it yet but a lot of the sentiments are not your typical shiny happy sentiments and I thought some of them would fit really well on this layout. So um, 
I took one of the star journaling um, tags from the kit and I stamped the fail in it and I think I'm going to tuck it up there somewhere and then I also stamped the one that says you've got to be kidding me just on a scrap of the ombre sort of chevron and these stickers are from the lake shore um, but I didn't want that sentiment on it so I was trying to find ways to sort of cover it up but get that brown wood grain because I really wanted to use this arrow sticker and the brown wood grain I don't it looks uh, it can look a little funny if you've just got you know one brown thing on a on a layout that has not much else that's brown um, so yeah and there's a couple other um, wood grain things on here that I might use or, or even like this hello or the I love you little tags And there's one other sentiment that says not the highlights, not the highlights, that I'm, I'll am i probably stamp somewhere, maybe on the bottom of, of this, yeah, actually that would look good on the bottom of the journaling tag, but I better get my journaling in first. Okay, so that's where we are right now. I also pulled out the enamel dots, these are the Teresa Collins ones, and I'll probably do a little circle or something or sprinkle them around. Anyways, so we're just kind of playing, and let's see, uh, let's see where we go. Okay, let's get. I'm gonna get my journaling down. Okay, so I got my journaling down, and now I've I've left a bit of. I have more to say, but I think I can add that elsewhere. I've left a little bit of room there, and I want to stamp this sentiment on the bottom. Hopefully, it fits. And let's not stamp it upside down. I love Schmel's sense of humor when it comes to these stamps. Not the highlights. Oh, I'm just. Well, I guess we'll know I'll have to be covering that somehow, right? Goodness me. What a mess I am today. Maybe I'll just <laughs> do something like that. <laughs> All right, so let's get this, stick this down. I'm pretty sure I want it just about here. And then these little bits, I'm gonna ink the edges. Now this has already been dipped in some gray ink. I don't want a huge amount of ink on there. I just want a little bit. And that's how I ink them. I just brush it against the edge of the paper. The reason I can move this around, because it's a sticker, is, is because I have put um, pop dots on the back. And now I can figure out See, I could use that, but then I'd need to find something in there. So I could add more journaling in there. I think I kind of like the layering of that there. And I'll put that up here. Tuck it behind the picture. Like that. We're getting there. I've got this let's do this. Not sure if I'm going to use it or not, to be honest. But I do like the placement of that, so I'm going to commit to that one. I find that it's easiest to just kind of make a commitment, go with your gut, just get things down. You know what? I'm going to I'm going to take my own advice and I'm going to put this down. I totally like that there. Bummer. That's that's what we call a bummer. I wonder if there's anything we can use to hide it. I'm looking at my big sticker sheet. I'll cut 
think about adding some florals. There's nothing else really floral on there though, so it makes me a little bit, mm, yeah, maybe not. I'm going to pull it off and see how it looks. I do have other florals on this sticker sheet that I could add elsewhere if I like this. Okay, we're committing. We are committing to it. I could always move that up here. Let's find some of the other florals. We've got some little ones here. I think we'll keep, this one is, is more of the creams and the yellows, so I think we'll keep with these two little pink ones. And I'll just do this sort of a thing. committing. It's always sort of the scary part, but if you don't commit, your layouts just don't get finished. Okay, now I need a title. I think we're going to put it there, so let's work on that before we start adding any more little embellishments. If I have enough letters, I'm going to call it clueless. C L U E L E S S. Perfect. I'm going to change the title placement, put it up there. I don't want my title floating, so I'm making sure that it is anchored, in this case, by that wood grain paper. Let's try and get it on straight, shall we? Not super straight, but it'll do. easy line to follow. I'm going to put another stamp there. Got this one that says what? Um, nope. Looking for my little... This is the problem with my desk. I don't have a ton of space, so everything gets a little um, chaotic. be a little bit scary when you're stamping on something that is basically finished. It's subtle. I think I will also add some chevrons. You can never have too many chevrons, right? Now 
I don't want it to go off the paper, so I'm just going to grab um, something. Let's grab a piece of paper. Anything. There we go. I'm going to put it right there. need to find a home for this guy. No, ultimately I think that just stands out too much. When creating, what I'm doing with the flowers is I'm creating a visual triangle. And when creating a visual triangle, you want to try and include your most important elements within that triangle. So I've got one here and one here. I could put one there. But if I have it up there, it includes my pictures. So I think that's what I'm going to do. So my pictures are all included in this visual triangle. All right. Now I want to add a little bit more twine down here and I'm going to do, I'm just going to do kind of a loose loop I think. Just sort of randomly put it there. And let's get some glue. If I had a different type of um, adhesive runner, I could use that, but I don't, so. The glue is just going to have to work. And I will also add some enamel dots in there to sort of keep it all grounded. Okay, so finishing touches. I want to bring a little bit of pink up here. I mean, I got a little bit there, but let's bring some more in. got a lot of gray and stuff up there so I want to bring some more in down here so I'm going to use these guys and then I can also ah use them to stick down that string maybe except that the glue is all sticking to my fingers Okay. All right. So I'm going to think about adding a bit more journaling, but for the most part, I'm going to call this done. All right. Thanks for tuning in. And you can see all the details on my blog at allisondaydesigns.com. Thanks. Bye-bye.